Hey guys, Mono here. It's been a while since I've done one of these breakdown videos for the squad leader role where I go step by step, you know, go through my thought process, explain a bit what it is I'm doing, why I'm doing it and what I could have done better. So I'll be showing you guys some footage. I'm going to be stopping. I'm going to be talking about what's going on. Before I start, something really cool happened here, which is I live streamed this round and the day after I get a message or I believe it was a YouTube comment from the commander of this round, actually the second commander, because there were some issues with the first one, but the second commander told me like, oh, I watched the stream after the fact and realized that you had a really big impact. So, you know, that's always amazing to hear, like the second perspective or a different perspective on the game that you played. So I definitely think there were some key things that I did during this round that helped the team eventually win. It was really like a back and forth all the time over checkpoint. So let's just get started into it. I joined this round a little late. I think I was like 15 minutes late, maybe a bit more. And I see we have a solid grasp on checkpoint, or it seems like we do. So I decide to get a truck and go to the north side of Western Approach or try and get a garrison on the west side of it or somewhere, something like that. But, you know, as I'm driving there, there's we just start losing checkpoint. So at that point, I figured, you know, might as well just go back build a garrison on the red zone and hopefully help my team retake that point real quickly but also where i build this garrison i think is really key because it will not only help our team attack checkpoint but it will also help them intercept the enemy soldiers that might be going from checkpoint towards masondu creek through this main road here now what i actually want to do is get behind the guys at checkpoint because I figure, you know, attacking from the north is good, but they probably have a garrison on the western side of checkpoint that they're using to attack us, to attack that point. And if we don't get rid of that garrison, it's going to be really, really hard to retake checkpoint. So I'm just going to go flanking from the north down through this area. And, you know, that's actually a route that I really enjoy using when attacking checkpoint as the allied because it offers a lot of cover versus coming in from the south or even the north or the east. And you often find enemies along the way that are trying to get into checkpoint. So that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, the commander does something incredibly stupid, which is he deletes the garrison that I built north of checkpoint. Now, why did he do this? I'm not really sure. I called him out on it. At that point, I almost reported him uh, to the admin because I was like, "This is this guy throwing the game or something? Because why would you delete that garrison when we still haven't capped the point? It makes absolutely no sense. We end up losing Mazondu Creek later because of this, or partially because of this. So anyway, I make my way down to the backside of checkpoint. Let's check that out. Unfortunately, I failed trying to, you know, cause some damage to checkpoint. And by that time, we had already lost Masonic Creek. I see we are taking it back, though. So I decide to use this garrison on G6 to again attack any enemies that might be going from checkpoint to Masonic Creek. Maybe destroy their garrison on checkpoint because here's the thing Masonic Creek is very, very west of the Foursquare area, so the cap area. So it's really hard for the enemy team to build a garrison there uh, for the Germans. So most of the time they will have a garrison close to checkpoint, maybe off to the south, and they will use those garrisons to attack Masson. But I don't think they have already established a garrison at Masson. So I'm just going to go for checkpoint, hopefully destroy their garrison and, you know, secure both Masson and a preemptive yeah, okay. strike, if you will, on checkpoint. Uh, I'm on your one sector too far. Oh, 
All right, Garrison's on me, but I'm not going to take it out. Garrison on how Mark is 100% accurate. I'm gonna stop this here. A couple of things I should have done better. First of all, I didn't destroy the garrison. I didn't try to dismantle it because I was getting shot. So I ran into the house and figured, you know, I'm just gonna stay here and block this garrison because I could hear it was, you know, being blocked from my proximity there. That's good enough. In fact, that's even gonna route some of the resources they have attacking Maison to go check that garrison out and see what's happening, you know, who's around there. Now, one thing that I should have done better is I should have kept moving a bit more in the house. Like, gone to maybe the second story there. Or, you know, just just be a bit more mobile. Because at the end, they flushed me out with a grenade. And I wasn't really able to, you know, blast my way through uh, killing the enemies and surviving. But on the other hand, I was like, I, I would rather die, you know, retaining proximity and not maybe risk going a bit further away. So in the end, I think I made the right choice, though maybe if I had managed to destroy that garrison, we would have maybe capped checkpoint, which we didn't at, at that time. We did cap it later. But then we got into a situation here where we're trying, I'm just trying to build some backup garrisons for Madeline because I figure, you know, we, we really have to go on the defensive. If you look at the map, there's not really garrisons anywhere around Madeline. So I figure, you know, let's just start from the back, make our way forward. So I just want to build a garrison, get some nodes down and start making our way, controlling Masondo Creek gradually. And we run into a recon squad and we have a bunch of engagements here as we're trying to, you know, put down a garrison. We run into some tanks, into a Puma, into a Lux. And, you know, this might all seem like a kind of a bit of a waste of time, just spending time here fighting against this recon squad. But there were enemy supplies kind of all over the place, which we managed to destroy. So they were clearly trying to get a northeastern attack going onto Mason, and we were there to clear that out. So sometimes you do have to play defense, but the impact that you can have as defense is massive because you can really give your infantry time to attack the point. You can distract the enemy. You can uh, counter some of the resources that they are trying to spend there. So that is definitely something that you have to consider. A lot of squad leaders don't like going defense, but sometimes it's, it's just what you have to do. All right, fast forward to the last part of the engagement here. We managed to get some attacks onto Western Approach from the west side using a garrison I built. But right now things aren't looking very good on checkpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a truck, build a garrison that is south of Mesondu Creek here in this little road and use that as an attack garrison for checkpoint. After building this garrison, I'm just gonna hop on the truck again and I'm gonna try and build a garrison on the wheat fields south of checkpoint, but first I check it out with my binos and I see this enemy garrison right there. So now I'm thinking, I'm just gonna go for it. I wanna block that garrison by proximity by being 100 meters from it. I inform the commander that there's an enemy garrison there and the rest of the team. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to die here. I know that. But, you know, at least I'm going to buy the team some time to maybe deal with this garrison. The 
Doesn't look like it. Mono, did you get that, Gary? I did not, I did not, I'm under fire. OP is hot, OP is hot. Yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere. 10 seconds, and we are with you. Alright, spawning on the G8, Gary. Fuck, I'm dead. I'm giving you an ammunition drop. What's your timer on the supply job? There's a guy in the wheat field right on my body. Uh, I'm in my AT gun loadout. Roger, nading your body, dude. I got him. OP up, OP up, OP up, I need supplies. Yeah. See enemies on my ping. Gary's hot, somebody. <laughs> Building's hey, just to your right, Mono. You gotta take out that half track behind yeah. him on King Mark. Yeah, I can hear spawns. It's right on that main road. OP destroyed. Luke's, Luke's on ping. Luke's on ping. Uh, hotel light vehicle yeah, mark yeah, is a Luke's. Overrun at the moment. Inside, boys. Mono, watch out. You're about to walk in the bomb and run. People on the building in front of me. All squad heavy supply guy drops a supply drop on that. That OP. Golf squad, golf squad, you should be building a garrison before you attack, guys. Come on, basic basic knowledge, come on. My supply guy just got fucking swag. Change him for another. That's any new bombing run. Watch right here. Charlie, is a uh, Panzer 4 or Panther? Say it, say again, which HQ? Uh, bottom, bottom HQ. Okay, how many people are in your squad? Two. Okay, good enough. X Enter on my ping Guys, Moving infantry, south. infantry coming in on an H squad mark I need you guys with the MGs focusing fire on that position They probably have a garrison there Lots of infantry on H squad mark Probably have a garrison around that line
I can get a recon. Recon plane will go up in 45 seconds. I can see enemy garrison. I can see enemy garrison. Garrison is accurate on my mark. Oh, I see a tank. Yeah, there was a, there was a Panther and uh, a Tiger. Sure. In this area. Oh, Enemy vehicle. garrison down. About to be locked. We just fucking. I think we might want. Panther and Tiger, yeah. On mark. We might want to bring everybody Panther back and back. Tiger on hotel marks. P4 on ping, P4, right here on ping. Gun is smoky. Wait, there's only four of us, though. Yeah. Fuck! 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 Somehow we managed to lose checkpoint again. I built another garrison close to the one I had built before, and that allows the team to flood in from both the main road and onto that south side of checkpoint that I was talking about. We eventually cap the point and win. I will leave you guys with the rest of the footage here. If you want to watch me squad lead, then you can probably catch me on a live stream. I'm doing those on Fridays, not every Friday, but most Fridays. And one thing that I do want to mention is that there are multiple moments throughout this round where I should have been a bit more assertive with my squad. You know, a bit more like, guys, redeploy. I need you here. I need you to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to flank through this area and I need some support. Sometimes I kind of forget to do that. But, you know, most of the times I see my squad is doing something effective. Like they are putting pressure on the point. They are trying to flank themselves. So it's not the worst. But I think I could have been more effective than I was had I basically had my squad sticking with me a bit more. Let me know, guys, what you think down in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next one. I'm, I'm just camping this building here. I'm not leaving. Right, switch uh, off support. Uh, uh, <laughs> Luger, uh, I mean... <laughs> redeploy. <laughs> No! I will, yes. I will still have the countdown. I'm, I'm capping. Come on. Oh, fuck. Uh, Nap, can you redeploy? We need someone with supplies. Come on. Alright, drop supplies at the OP, Lou. Dude, support half, players, right. drop supplies. Come support in. players, drop supplies. Dude, 159. We're fine. Is that GG? Might be. That's GG. And, and if they didn't reset the cap time, but we're below two minutes, so we should be fine. Dude, what a round. Holy shit. GG, thanks.